Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at the new King Pouring Star cards that will be released in Episode 7. This information is based on what's released as part of Episode 7 in the China server. There's no official patch note yet but this might give us an idea on what's coming and what cards we should save up for for crafting. As for the cards dropped by the new field monsters, we already talked about those in the Dragon City Luyang video. If you haven't watched that yet, I have the video linked down below. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have the Goblin Leader Star Card which is a weapon card that grants 5% lifesteal effect when doing melee auto attacks and increase physical damage by 5%. So the only difference from the normal one is the 5% physical damage increase. I guess the star version of the Goblin Leader card will still be popular for the melee crit type builds. The materials needed for crafting this purple card are 1 Goblin Leader card, 2000 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Up next we have the Bloody Knight Star card which is a weapon card that increases auto attack damage by 5% and grants a 5% chance to cast level 10 Meteor Storm when doing auto attacks. In addition, it has a set effect with the Pale Lord card that increases auto attack damage by 5% and increases the chance of casting Meteor Storm when doing auto attacks by 5%. So the differences with Bloody Knight card are the plus 5% auto attack damage and extra 2% chance of triggering Meteor Storm. I think using this card with the auto attack Warlock build would be very fun. The materials needed for crafting this purple card are 1 Bloody Knight card, 2000 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Up next, we have the Reflecia Star card, which is an offhand card that increases damage to water and earth element monsters by 15%, and insect and fish race monsters by 25%. Before, the Reflecia card can only increase damage to insect race by 25%. So, with the addition of water, earth, and fish monsters in its effect, I will say it will be more useful in PvE. The materials needed for crafting this purple card are free Reflecia cards, 1000 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Up next, you have the Alice Star card, which is another offhand card that increases damage to MVP and mini boss monsters by 15% and reduces damage from MVP and mini boss monsters by 15%. This will replace Anubis Star card as the best in slot offhand card when doing boss hunts and clearing instances. This is not only useful for DPS class but also for tank and support classes since they'll receive less damage from minis and MVPs. The materials needed for crafting this purple card are free Alice cards, 1000 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Up next, we have the Mutant Dragon Star card, which is a weapon card that increases attack by 15 and grants a 15% chance to cast level 10 Fireball when doing auto attacks. In addition, Fireball will reduce the target's damage reduction by 15% for 10 seconds. With this new debuff effect of Fireball, I guess this card can help increase the damage of auto attack builds. The materials needed for crafting this purple card are free Mutant Dragon cards, 1000 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Up next, we have the Mistletane Star card, which is a footgear card that increases damage to small sized monsters by 10% and reduces damage received from small sized monsters by 30%. In addition, it also increases death by 10 points and 10%. With this new card, it will be easier to unlock the inside deposit effect for Desert Wolf card. The materials needed for crafting this purple card are 3 Mistletane cards, 1000 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Up next, we have the Clock Tower Manager Star card, which is a headwork card that increases int by 5, magic damage by 5%, and max HB by 400. In addition, it will grant an extra plus 3 int and plus 3% magic damage when your HB is 100%. This will be a good and probably cheaper alternative to Katarina card for magic DPS class. The materials needed for crafting this purple card are free clock tower manager cards, 1000 gram dust, and 2 million zenny. Lastly, we have the Cat Eden card which is a headwork card that removes the blue gemstone cause of Cat Flying Saucer Bombardment skill. This will definitely make Magic Dwarm farming with Cat UFO more cost efficient. The materials needed for crafting this blue card are 10 Leafy Cat cards, 200 gram dust, and 1 million zenny. Do take note that only Goblin Leader Star and Bloody Knight Star cards were released in the first episode 7 patch in the China server. The other cards were released in a subsequent update a month later, so we're not sure yet if all these cards will be released immediately in the sea and global servers, but hopefully these will be implemented soon. 
Alright, so far we've discussed all the upcoming cards that can be crafted in episode 7. You can now save up for those cards before their prices spike up. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.